Got you, buddy. Mekong giant catfish. Got him. Got him. Nice. We're going to be inviting a very special guest, Zach Ketchum from Ketchum All Fishing. is going to be here to help us on the hunt to try to figure out more information and data of what is really going on. Oh, I see him. That boy eating rocks? Got him. Nice. So as you guys seen, we just got hired at a new job. We're in a new area, guys. So awesome. Uh, we, we didn't expect it to get cloudy out of nowhere, guys, but apparently, guys, it's the rainy season here in South Florida. But look at this. We just landed our first iguana at the job. Not a big one, guys, not a big one, but you know what? These are the ones that eat a lot of the plants. And uh, this area has a lot of expensive landscape. Look at this plant right here, check it out. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this plant right here, guys. It's completely naked. Completely, guys, completely naked. It's compared to these iguanas out here. They're feeding on it, and it doesn't even give the plants a chance to regrow, regenerate, guys. They just don't give them a chance to breathe. All right, first one in the bag. Stay tuned, guys. We're just going to keep our eyes peeled right now. We might have to leave some traps, but if we see them, we have no choice but to take lethal action with this air rifle. Let's check it out, guys. As you guys can see, we have two Cuban nitinols doing the business, y'all. Doing the business. They want all the invasive species eliminated out of here. So let's see if we can get two for the price of one. Gotcha, buddy. He's toast. He's toast. Right here, right here, right here. Right there, right there. That's it. Toast. Guys, we just prevented this invasive species from repopulating and making more, guys. That's it. You guys seen it for yourself, guys. The invasives are out here taking over, breeding right in front of us, guys. They don't care. There's no natural predators. They're taking over. We had to humanely euthanize them, guys. We just had to, all right? Guys, we have spotted the female. We gotta take her out. Got her. Got her. You guys remember the, the rules, guys. No body, no bounty. All right, so all y'all out there blasting stuff, letting y'all catch go into the water and stuff like that. No body, no bounty. Straight up. Two more in the bag. Skoosh. You see him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Iguana, we got a... Uh... Got him. Oh, yeah, headshot right here. Right there? Yeah, right there. You see him? Oh, yeah, perfect catch. Hey, Mr. Iguana, we got a... Uh... Got him. An iguana out of the tree. Alright. Get the bounty. You gotta get the body. I know he's dead. But my customer doesn't know that. And the only way I can prove that to him is by having the body. I see him. I see him. Yep. Yeah. That's the name of the game. He's gone. He's gone. What were you saying again? Dude, oh, that's a fatter fat one. Iguana just came up over here. Look how fat he is. You know what it is, right? Since there's no sun out, they're, tr they're still trying to get warm. Uh -huh. There's two of them, bro. They're going, oh, oh. My and there's ducks. Oh, we oh, found where the duck nest is. Oh, snap. We found where the duck nest is. All right, we're gonna just focus on the iguanas today, the ducks, because we got another time. But look, guys, they're right over there on, on, on those rocks. They're basking, they're eating. Let's go see if we can put them in the back.
There you go. Got him. Nice. Got him. Got him. Got him. That is the shake of death, people. And look at these buddies right there. Let's see if we can go for a two, a two kill streak real quick. Nice. Shot right here. Got him. Yeah. Okay, guys, check it out. Look at the background, guys. As you guys can see, the weather uh, it just deteriorates without any warning, guys. One minute it's sunny, a little minute it's cloudy, windy, and then all of a sudden, guys, we have very violent clouds. So we're going to have to call it for now. Uh, me and the ninja, we just set some traps, though, okay? We set four of them with mangoes. So, uh, you know, we'll be, uh, you know, well, hopefully when we come back, they'll hit. You see that fat duck right there? Uh, stay tuned because we're going to come after him next with the air rifle. Um, it's just that we got more drops to go to, so we, we can't deal with him right now. But real quick, we just want to show you guys what we were able to recover, okay? Uh, we got this uh, small baby iguana. We got this uh, juvenile sub-adult right there. And we have the two uh, adult breeding Cuban nitinoles that we were able to get. So I'm going to get these guys processed out. Uh, I'm going to inform the customer about what's going on, what we recovered, what we've done, what we've surveyed. Guys, there's a lot of stuff that we're analyzing out here to figure out actually what's going on. It's our first day on the job. And as you guys can see, it's not the best day. But I'm, you know, we're here for about an hour. Pretty decent results. So stay tuned, guys, um, for an update. We got some more iguana removal to do, all right? We got four of them. In the bag. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, as you guys can see, we're in the whip right now. We're just chilling. We just got done with our first job. Uh, it's starting to rain, y'all. It's really starting to rain, and it, it's it's crazy, guys. I don't know. Look at that. Oh, my goodness, bro. That's dangerous, bro. So I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, I guess stay tuned and find out, y'all. Right now, we're on the way, guys. I just got a phone call from one of my buddies. Uh, he caught this weird fish. It's really big. And uh, apparently, guys, there's a lot of these weird new fish in this body of water that he's been fishing. Um, the specimen that he got, he says it weighs about 50 or 60 pounds. Sent me a picture of it. It looked pretty big. And, um, I mean, guys, I'm not going to lie. This fish, whatever it is, it looks like a giant, like, Mekong catfish or something like that or a shark or something y'all so we're going over there right now we're gonna go um, meet him up uh, see the fish see if we can identify it and if so um, we're gonna try to figure out where they're at is there any more and potentially the next light is this right. a new invasive species here in South Florida guys only one way to find out stay tuned we're on the way all right y'all so this is the fish that my friend caught guys out of a lake here in South Florida um, from the looks of it guys, it kind of looks like a Mekong giant catfish, but a baby one So I mean for it to be a Mekong that would be extremely rare But what I think it is guys is something called an iridescent shark Which is in the same family as the giant Mekong, but they don't get quite as big Nonetheless guys, uh, my friend said that there's a bunch of them in these bodies of water so guys, I think there might be new invasive species that have not been documented from the FWC. Now, working on this project, guys, you guys are going to meet my friend, Lawrence. He's the one that discovered this phenomenon. And also, we're going to be inviting a very special guest, Zach Ketchum from Ketchum All Fishing. is going to be here to help us on the hunt to try to figure out more information and data of what is really going on with these giant uh, iridescent Mekong catfish, guys. Stay tuned, all right? We're gonna get everything geared up and we'll see you guys at the fishing spot. Woo.